thing. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I'm, I'm bewildered. Let's go through this because I just want something to make me happy. Last this guys is this box right here. Might be some potential. I'm really hoping so because man. This is what the unit looks like. The door opened, you just saw. I don't know if you just saw it because I'm on this, but the door opened up, trash fell. Come on, oh boy, baby. Mateys. It is I, your captain speaking. Let's go find some treasure. Uh -oh. <laughs> so funny. Well, Pirates, this is nuts. Um, literally, this is all I have to go through right here. We're going to take this back to the storage and we're going to film that cart and this little bit of stuff. Barely fit any room in there. Or barely take up any room. And then we'll come back in the trailer and do the rest in the dumps. Because that is just, it's just absurd, man. Probably... Don't know why I decided to bring this one back. I should have probably left for the dumps too, maybe. Gene 8 Talcum. That could be something. That could be something. <laughs> yeah. This day. Yeah. These people did one heck of a job milking their unit. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's where I found that necklace. That actually might be gold. Definitely not. Two pieces of silver though. That's kind of neat. That's actually gold. That's like the world's smallest piece of gold. So we'll just put it in there and put that in there and put that in there. And then those ones are not gold. This lady had some gold somewhere though. Dang. You could just tell she did. Somebody Somebody ransacked this storage unit, and I don't know, maybe the son, and he had to have sold his jewelry, co his uh, comic collection or something, because that was just, I've never seen anything like that. But she was paying on it thinking that he had it in there. I don't know. <laughs> look, look at us looking through every little thing for something that might exist. Oh. Let's play this number Saturday. We're gonna play those numbers Saturday, see if that works this tomorrow. Maybe that maybe that's the winner. Here comes the train again. Driving by the storage making much old noise. I just wanna make a video. But we got the train driving by. All right, enough of my remit. Ooh, be careful, Mike. That wouldn't have sucked if that would have been... Like, got my hand. That would have probably been a good laugh, though, right? I'll grief you guys. I would have laughed, too. Oh, 
Chlorine. Hello, Chlorine. Who knows what movie that's from? Well, I... Oh, yeah, this is... This is incredible. All those years, this was what's restored in there. Sudden fun. Oh, all the sudden fun. We'll put that in a good pile. We got like six good things over there so far. I mean, okay, that was not even a good box. I don't know how I messed up that. We're gonna start going through this storage unit. A little, a little weird. I'm kind of a slightly disappointed. I mean, that's what I get for listening to people. She said that there was the guy collected comic books. There was not a single stitch of comic books in there. So that was kind of weird. Somebody really ransacked that storage unit and then just left it. Like, I'm guessing that maybe she thought that she was going to run the price up or shut up and deal. Okay. What the heck she thought? Okay, this isn't even really that cool. I was hoping these were going to be something cool in this box. I tried to only keep the stuff here that was going to be somewhat intriguing. And then I just left the rest to go to the dumps. And I'll bring my trailer. I mean, it was bad, bad. I started filming a little bit for y'all. But then it got, it got, I don't even know what the, the words to say it would be. It, I've never seen anything like it. 1966, how I rate myself. Wow. Okay. The Flintstones, really? Okay. That's crazy that we actually managed to find a freaking comic book considering there was none in all of those things. But he supposedly collected comic books. Weird. We have, now we can't say that there wasn't comic books because we just found two. I remember these when I was a kid. I used to get these. 1996. A little bit older than that. Oh no, it would be in school, right? It would be in school. Zoo books, zoo books. I used to love these things. More zoo books. Crazy as that unit could have had a comic book collection, and we could have struck a rich, you know. Shuffle cards and lay face down, and each player draws seven cards. Somebody made games, right? Wow, these are a little. This is some weird stuff. Different. I'm. I'm guessing somebody was a school teacher. That's the only thing that comes to my mind. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. That's probably a classic. We have uh, tuned out take one. All right, so those aren't that special. It looks like Durango Street, Delancey Street. The story can't be beat. The story can't be beat. <laughs> I wonder if this is what they meant by they collected comics. Now you can mark all your bo books and toys and stuff. Stamp it on everything that it belongs to. Nancy, I had this made for you, a rubber stamp with your name on it. Wow. Um, that is weird. Hi, and Lois. So that was a total, total wash on that box. Um, what is this for measuring? You blow? Like, what is that? That is weird. Skirt, skirt marker, okay. Alright. I guess that would work too. Never seen anything like that. Maybe the one thing that's going to save our day is these right here. Nine, ten feet? I don't know. Yeah. Alright, that's what I... So much of this type of 
pee bottles, things like that. That's why I had to stop working the unit. Like there was literally women's stings that you clean yourself with, like full of pee or something. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I'm, I'm bewildered. That's like the most, the poorest thing I've ever seen in my life. I, I don't know what they like, they were looking for something, you know, like they was literally, somebody tore this apart, looking for something. This is insanity. Oh my gosh. Guys, that is this. Nine grams of fat divided by calories equals or equals percent of fat or less than total calories of intake is 30%. The hell? Oh, thank you to the bicycle there for being my try. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I remember this one. We got some Marlboro Miles. Should we save these? Are these still a thing? Marlboro Miles? That's how long ago this was. This is nuts. This is a whole garbage bag uh, oh that would have been tight man happy holidays that was cool but it's too damaged um, we're uh, digging deep here to try to find some profit in this storage unit right here well I guess it really doesn't matter the profit's not that bad we're only a $10 All storage right, unit. so maybe this will be a good box I, I saw this shirt in there earlier I sent a picture to my friend he told me that is actually like a $30, $35 shirt. So we might have more pieces at least that qualify for vintage clothing. Like for example, that's a, a white tee. That might be two or three bucks. We got, that's a unique, I don't even know how this tie works. Like this one's different. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of different. And then there's a scarf, so that's kind of tight. Like, yeah. Uh, like a matador, right? Like that. That's vintage. Vintage one of those. Look at this tie right here. Bob Horsley. Wembley. This is some weird stuff, man. Like, I can't even fathom, like, what... Thelma Godfrey. That actually might be a good five, ten bucks. We got some Bay to Bay. Some cutoffs. We got uh, a car rag. Not quite vintage. Come on, let's get in some more vintage, because that helps out. Hampton East. That is possibly five, ten bucks. I don't want to touch too many things either. Pajamas. Some more ties. These are just... Maybe we could do something special with them, like tug-of-war or something. Try to get Jack to do tug-of-war with me with our trucks, and he won't do it. <laughs> Bob Horsley by somebody those are kind of cool very white uh blue collar uh vintage shirts and that's a good way i describe them nordstrom's we got some wool here that's always i'll probably take this stuff to the alameda flea market let them pick through it make some sales in my vintage clothes and then uh yeah vintage clothes is hot there so Ooh, weldon that's kind of neat it's almost like uh, a robe, but not quite. Oh my gosh, should we find Dorothy's dress? No, it's not. I thought we had Dorothy's dress for a minute there. That would have been a hot topic item there. I'm just digging for something that just stands out a little more than just basic vintage stuff, but that's kind of a cool pattern. You get another button-up shirt. Huh? 
that right there I see being 25 bucks. It's kind of different pattern. Very vintage -y. Let's get into some shirts now, please. Come on. Come on, where's her original Beatles shirt from 1963? One of these. Can you, I've never, uh, what would you call this? Mary had a little lamb? Like, what is this? That's kind of cute. I said it. I said it. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the sheep was sure to go. White tees, vintage white tees. Oh, this is getting a little boring. I was hoping it'd be some popping, popping. That's kind of cool. That's probably a good 10, 15 bucks if there's anybody looking for warm clothes on a warm day. Another white tee. Got a lot of white tees. Some good ones. Belt. I would say there's at least. There's probably a good 200 bucks in vintage clothes here. Every single item in here is 100% vintage. Probo, and that's like still, that's like newer stuff that's still vintage. So I think it's safe to say there's a little bit of money in here. Not like a piss ton, but a little bit. Some vintage socks, that's always great. It's not the most hopping of vintage clothes. Let's go through this because I just want something to make me happy. So, no gold there. Uh, a knife though. None in there. None in there. something sheesh on three two uh, damn it. That was so close fine carrot gold jewelry yeah that's a weird one now on this side it says fine diamonds This is like a sick joke, man. Never. What happens when you just kind of look in a box and be like, that's kind of cute, let's take this to look in. And really, none of it is cute. It's just weird stuff. I'm blown away. Like, have you guys seen, you guys have probably watched a lot of storage videos. Have you ever seen anything like that? Just kidding. But really, anything like this storage unit, like, very, very, uh, have not seen much like that. That's all I can say. A vinyl Corlon piece. You got part of that. You got a napkin. You got an old flower. That thing is freaking. One second. No. 
um, some heavy duty twine that's always important and this is an extra binder oh yeah this is for making flashcards so we had flashcards earlier so I bought this storage unit for six bucks plus four dollars and then there was some tax I came back to pick it the next day and it sucked <laughs> Oh, that would have been tight. Look at that. Those are like almost like sports cards things. That would have been real tight. Maybe they're dealing. This is super extracurricular. Um, I'm going to try to salvage those. I don't know if they're good enough for Pokemon or not, but the kids always need those. This is the hell of what I needed right here. I needed to fix some of my shorts I have. So this is perfect because I have some jean cutoff shorts and I really regretted making them cutoffs. So now I can add this back together and make them whole again. Oh my God, this is perfect. This, is, this unit's everything I needed now. That was pretty tight. So weird. handful more things to go through here plus we have one more box that could have some jewelry in it so we might get lucky but i don't know this is a weird unit it's like random things and then look, there's a skull ring i don't know you've been erased wow well, hey that's something you've been erased you got an eight nothing in it wah, wah, wah. You've been erased, you've been erased, wow. Erasing we will go black beauty. Is that a sign? Is that a sign right there? To call her black beauty? I don't know. We'll have to guess. Well, I've been tight, we found a hundred dollar bill up in that mother. Nope. Oh well, well, I tried. I didn't mean to do all that. Okay. Oh. Dang. I wonder if Jess would like this. I'm gonna have to send her a photo of that. Seems like seems like that reminds me of something she just got, kind of. Now that's kinda cool. That's actually a good 15, 20 bucks right there. And same with that one. That one's actually really vintage too, so that's a little bit of money. Elastic's a little weak in that one. Oh, I'm digging these. That's cool, that's a good start to our life, you know. One time in our life, uh, this type of stuff saved our life. It made our life better because we made a fortune off the unit that was full of these. So I'm not going to complain about that. These will all go in our uh, Alameda booth. I got to go this weekend. It'll cost me $150 to sell in a booth. I'm bringing all the cool stuff I found. And I plan to leave early because I got to get to... Uh, I got to get somewhere. I got a party to go to. A birthday slash baby shower. Uncle Michael's son. Nice. These are cool. Very vintage. So I think there's a might possibly be a couple hundred bucks just right there. So it's the type of stuff that adds up and you never know where the money's gonna be. This is a vanity fair, it's a very good brand. Um, you never know where the money's gonna be in the storage unit. You I I don't I don't recommend you you buy the type of units that I'm buying, like these ugly ones like this, because it's a lot of work. But I've never really gone wrong on a ten and twenty dollar unit, a dollar unit. I started this business as that kid. I was the guy who didn't have any money. I was a furniture mover. Things were really bad, et cetera, et cetera. I was at one point doing flea markets in a Nissan NX that I borrowed from my friend long before we even started doing YouTube. Um, 
So I always go back to my roots when things are either tough or stressful in this business. That sucks because they're right here, look. Because um, it always works. So right now storage units are through the roof and I suggest not really going crazy and buying much right now because of what's going on with the world today. So you gotta play it safe. So I buy these type of units. Though this one had a hunch it was supposed to be a delicious unit. It's not so far looking out to be like there was some great collectibles in this unit, but I think I kind of hit a random little jackpot. Wow, there's just, they just keep coming and coming. One, two, three, four. I will set all those aside. What do you guys think? Comment below if you think that's a jackpot. If you know vintage lingerie and stuff, you probably would agree. And if you don't, uh, do a little bit of research real quick uh, and you'll see that that is like, great, great. This might be something. It is an Apple joystick. It seems to be pushing over to the right, but maybe that's the way it's what it does. I don't know. It will hold up. I have to look into that. You got some Tupperware. That's always fun. And yeah, that is the just of that bag. <clears throat> okay. Anybody ever tell you don't unbox with scissors? Or that run with scissors. You might get nailed. This is uh, a little box of trinkets. Like something that didn't get too spilled over. Uh, luckily. Mm. Nice little plane. Stanley Handyman. That actually might be worth eBaying, to be honest with you. I've done a lot of eBaying of, of those tools over the years, planes. Come on, go. Nope, nails. All right, a little box of Garage Chofsky, I guess. Okay, looking like another box of Garage Chofsky's. Yes. Oh. You never know, I found so many types of great treasures inside of there. That one's liquid, definitely, but. A nice little white dish, it's a seashell. And a fry pan, that's gonna be uh, two, three bucks there. Ooh. Felt origami, no, what do they call that when you have little shapes? Okay, so it's just stuff, more stuff. That is a Lincoln, Amazon, what is it? Flashlight? That's a Zon Guard. I don't know what that is. I would have to look that up because I've never seen one of those. That could be something just because. Panasonic. It's not that. But I'm going to look that up anyway because I've never seen one of those. And it could be something. Weird little electronics can have great value. Never underestimate those. Absolutely nothing left in that box, so that's what that was in there. Some vintage doilies type of stuff. More, some shorts. All this clothes stuff will definitely make it out to Alameda because that's where it's a good place to sell it. That one's kind of neat. Those are kind of hot right now. Ashtrays are not making a comeback, but. We do happen to have a couple of those, so I'll take those out there. Maybe that'll be a smoking day to sell. What do you think? Smoking day? No? Oh. That's kind of neat. That could be silver. Evans. That's pretty tight. It's got some good... And then we even have this right here, so that's like a party in a box right here. This box is basically a party in a box. The whole thing is Alameda, at least a $50 box probably. Alright, 
So, pajamas. Material, pajamas. That's kind of nice, actually. This at least definitely vintage. And that is hot right there. That's a, it's a good little clothing haul, I think. We did pretty good on the clothing. So one way or another, you can kind of make out on these older units, I think, because you do end up with something from a time capsule. But you also have to understand, look how bad this was. Most of this stuff was pure junk. Bugs. Yeah, I'm just a little disgusted now. Let's look at these because I just like the over little bright in my day. This one is probably a few bucks right here. This says, Poly the Royal Polynesian made in Hawaii. Uh, mm, I think this one's a jackpot. The Royal Polynesian made in Hawaii. I might have to put this one on eBay. This one will not make it to the flea market. Definitely gonna set that one aside. San Francisco, California, that's a good one too. Yeah, that's a pretty dope piece of vintage right there. This one says, Jumping Juniors of San Francisco, California. I kind of like those two pieces. Those ones, Del Mar Racetrack. That's a few bucks, I think. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit just disgusted right now. That one got really disgusting on me. There's a couple of cool dresses here. This one's very different too. It's got a nice little blue flower in the front. Different, these are very old. I don't know. I don't know what to think of those. Maybe they will end up in Alameda because clothes sells hot there. So I might just try them. That one's nice too. This one's really nice. Little lacy piece here. That's a good, that's a good little number. Last this guys is this box right here. Might be some potential. I'm really hoping so, cause we need a... even if I, if I'll probably have somebody come help me. We'll go. Cause we gotta do a dump run. So worst case scenario, this unit is definitely in the profit with the clothes and stuff, but it's not what I expected. Especially when you see all of the things like this. You know, you, come on, diamonds. No, that would have been so nice. Jeez, where did you do all? You take this with you, my lady? Hi, huh, lady. Ralph Lauren. Seashell soap by the seashore. Silverado. No. No, no. This is kind of really icky. Icky taka. Pill bottle. Cigarette thing. This is like taka. All right, so lo and behold, this unit is definitely a win. It's not like I hit a smack the home run right out the gate type of thing, you know what I mean? What basically happened was, this is our good stuff. Our good stuff consists of this little bit right here. No lie, I spent $10, I got this stuff right here. I got this pile of clothes right here, which is whatever, whatever. I know there's a couple hundred bucks there. A $50 box here. That's okay, I guess. And we'll come in here real quick. And what else did I have in here? Um, right here. 
Because I think, I honestly think, don't, believe it or not, I'll try to give you a good idea of what I got for clothes, but there is from the other previous, you know, I think there's probably going to be close to $500. And let's not forget, I still have to go through this box. We haven't even had a chance to really dive into these, but I think they're like movie trailers or previews, and there could be a little bit of money, but we have two boxes full of those. We'll go through those in another day on another video, because we got some other stuff. We're doing some recap of all the great toys and how we listen to them, so we'll put together a video of that. I hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget the like button, the share button, and most importantly, say something pretty like hoarders.